living in the forest of Dean uh, with a sawmill is fantastic. We're in the heart of the forest. We can go out and select the timber that we want for bespoke cut projects. And we were FSC registered, so we're very keen on sustainable forestry. That's very important to us. So if trees have been felled, they need to be replanted. For the timber we use for Wildlife World as well, we're very keen that we're using red cedar. So it's a renewable resource. It also lasts for a very long time. So by the time the bird boxes need replacing, which could be decades, trees have regrown in that time that have been replanted and, the, and the, the process continues. Some timber we do 12 inches wide um, in slabs of cedar and these are ideal for making owl boxes. So we specifically cut them wide timber for the owl boxes. We also do some quite chunky um, sized timbers specifically for making bug houses and uh, this, this means that it can be air dried and it's bespoke for the, the products that Wildlife World make. My passion is red cedar. I think it's a fabulous timber to use. A very, very rock resistant timber, very woodworm resistant. So you can make a product, it might be cladding, it might be bird boxes, and it will last for decades. You won't have to treat it, it doesn't need any preservatives, which is so important. I think we need to avoid using preservatives and use the natural product itself. My original fascination is with the natural world, and I want to protect it and encourage it. And I think Wildlife World is really doing that kind of work, um, providing nesting sites for birds, which is critical at this time when we're felling so many ancient trees that would provide nesting sites, when we're building houses that aren't suitable for birds to nest in or on. I think providing the bird boxes, particularly cut from renewable resources, is the way to go.